this is uh, an interview with Vinayak Das. Uh, for the record, uh, a little bit of interactions. Can you put your card up, please? Yeah. Um, I'm working as a consultant with the International Union for Conservation of Nature, based in Bangkok, with the Water and Wetlands Program. Uh, I've been working mostly on water-related issues, and currently, I'm here in Stockholm because for two reasons. One, uh, we have come out with a publication on the Phnom Penh water utility. And Phnom Penh water utility also has won the Stockholm Industry Award this time. So that is one of the reasons for coming here. This is a copy of the publication. And the second reason is for the session uh, at Ion Asia on the 8th of uh, September, which is uh, basically about also a book called on the basin management in the Asia Pacific region. It's a joint, joint publication between ADB and IUCN. So here we are going to have a one day workshop and a session regarding basin management in the Asia Pacific. Basically these are the two purposes why I have come here. Uh, why are you working in this sector, water and sanitation sector? Um, what drives well, you to work in this sector? Well, I have been I have been working in this sector now for the past 10 years. So when I started, it was mostly environmental issues and water issues, environment and water. And my interests were like to work on environmental issues, which that time also was a little bit nascent in my country where I come from, India. So I started working there. And inter the interesting part was I started working with uh, an environmental media organization called Center for Science and Environment, which gave me the opportunity to also travel, see different parts of the country, understand the problems, the issues, which are there right at the grassroots, and then come and uh, write about it, communicate about it to the people. So that really made me feel interested, like that this is something which I can continue, because water environmental areas which always there will be something new to discover, some new places, some new issues, how people are managing different communities, how they handle their own resources. So, and in the past 10 years, if I look at it, I have not got bored of what I have been doing. I rather say I have been pretty excited about my work, which helped me to know people, just not about water or environment, but beyond that also. Okay, uh, just before uh, we close, uh, you you worked in different countries, different regions. Uh, you worked in South Asia, part of India, and in Europe for some time. Yes. Uh, what is the common problem that you've seen? It's because top two or three problems that you seen consistently across all places. That across you all the places, across all yeah. the regions. Yeah. Uh, well, when you when you talk about water, yeah. or environmental you, you issues or resources. Yeah. Uh, one of the most common problem is that. The resources uh, exploited for economic purposes is more right. compared to like given priority for environmental or uh, conservation purposes. Right. So that is common all across the region, either in Europe or in Asia, Southeast Asia, anywhere. Right. So now, if you see like how we've exploited the resources and how it is going, and here now we are talking about green economies, and since all the climate change related issues coming up. So here, the change, the shift from eco like your shift from economics to green economics or resource conservation is something which probably is required, and which is required all across all across the world. That that sums up why you're here and uh, what your interests are. Yes. Just for the record, can I? Sure. Thank you. We hope. Uh, Enjoy your stay here. Thank you. Looking forward to many more of the festivities.